Uh, hey guys, what's up? Uh, I am, of course, I'm here again with a YouTube video. Uh, it's like 12 something in the morning. But when I was on Skype with some some of my friends, and my friend was like, oh, dude, you should make a video about if have, have you ever got cheated on? I'm like, yeah, because this has happened to me a pretty good amount. But like the most recent one was like, I think five, not five, but like two years ago. It's not with me and Sarah. Me and Sarah are still dating. But like, hell long time ago, because this, this is the time when I was like kind of between middle school and high school, it was like right in the summer, so I was kind of like in a rebellious phase. I didn't want to do shit. Uh, I, 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 fuck, I smoked a hell of a lot of pot back then. Like, every day I was pretty baked out of my mind and shit. And I, I was a dick, dude. I didn't. Like, no one, but the, me and this chick. Uh, yeah, a lot of people around here don't like her because she's, I guess, known or is known as a slut. Uh, but that's not on the record. Uh, I know she pretty much was a slut to me, but uh, we was off and on like four times. Uh, then, like, the four, because, like, the, th the three times I just like she was being a bitch to me and shit and all this and that like for three times so I just broke up with her three times and like the fourth time she's like oh I'm sorry let's get back together I said alright I'll do it and we did it for like three months actually five times this is the first time she cheated on me and my friend called me told me to come over and he's smoking a bowl or joint or blind, I don't know which one I'm smoking weed though, uh, and he goes like, dude, your girlfriend, man, dude, she's cheating on you and shit, I'm like, nah, way, well, it's like, my denial phase, I didn't want to believe that sign, because I thought I loved her, I'm like, nah, nah, okay, nah, but then I get a call from her, like, at 2 o'clock in the morning, I said, hey, what well, text, hey, we're done, uh, I just can't do it, uh, because I'm moving and shit, so, I'm like, alright, I'll, Fuck it. Then she moves back and she, she, you know what the fucked up part the first day of school, my English class, she comes Watson, Watson and walking in and shit. I'm like, fuck. So my friend Desmond goes like, dude, I, I will give you 20 bucks right now to go ask out that new chick. I'm like, dude, I dated her like four times already. I'm like, dude, I'll give you 20 bucks. I'm like, I, I even like, hey, you wanna go out? Didn't answer me. So we got to lunch, and she, like, slipped me a note and goes, like, yes, and shit. So I started going out with her again until I went to a uh, famous Peter Pan Park. And I saw him making out with another guy. And me being the age I was, I think I was, like, 15 years old, that kind of really hurt because, like, I was kind of in the motions of, like, do I love her? What is love and shit? What is life? And I didn't confront her until like the guy messaged me on Facebook like, dude, I saw you chick. What are you gonna do about you little fucking pussy and shit like that? And that kicked me out of depression mode into fucking like, I'm pissed the fuck off. I don't care to this guy and stab him with a pair of scissors, I think. But I never did. But then like, I saw him at skate park with him and my ex and she didn't know that I knew and she's making out with him on the fucking bleachers right and I come waltzing up in my mom's car and shit pulling up with, uh, with like Austin and some other person I think uh, I can't remember his name but we was gonna go skate in a skate park for the whole day, cause, and I saw her. I looked at her, give her a dirty ass look and shit, and I just like turned the fuck away. I went to skate, and she just started yelling my name and shit. And I told her to go fuck herself, and you need to go go fuck, get fucked by that guy, and leave me the fuck alone and shit. Then she comes, like starts calling me a loser and shit, like I'm a nobody. And, yeah, like, for a while I was in depression and shit. I was, ang I was mad and depressed. 
for a long time and shit. Now looking back at it, I can still feel that pain when she really when she really did hurt me and shit. And it was so much that I couldn't like go to school. And I found I found my balls went to school. And she hanging out with all her little blonde ass friends and shit, right? And they all called me losers and shit. And I told them, well, uh, at least I'm not part of the slut club, right? <laughs> yeah. But, I don't blame no one. It wasn't going to work out anyways. Because I planned to break up with her to begin with. But she didn't have to go out and, like, straight up cheat on me and shit. That's the point. And I think at the time I was pregnant, I think she... Dating, I think she was pregnant. Not mine. No. Hell no. Hell no. Not mine. Some other guys and she like, a fucking abortion or some shit? Miscarriage? What do you want to call it? Something stupid? But... I got over it, and like a couple of days ago, I guess she like trying to like, contact me and shit, asking all my friends for my number and my Facebook. I told mom, "Fuck no, don't give it to her. I don't want to talk to that bitch to begin with." But what really sucked is when I was in Walmart the other day. I was walking, and I saw her. She saw me and shit. She didn't want to talk to me, and she just turned around and walked the fuck away. And I'm like. I don't want to talk to you either. But then she fucking like, I'm in the cash out line about to, like, I got a meal deal from like Walmart and shit. It was at lunchtime at school. Well, not school, but lunchtime pretty much. And she, like, I'm so sorry and all this shit and that. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. I'm dating someone and she actually loves me. And. Yeah. That's the first time I ever got cheated on. It's hurt. It hurts at first. Trust me, it does. <sighs> okay. But, yeah. First time I ever got cheated on, it really does suck. Cause you thought you're gonna be together forever and shit like that. Yeah, you really don't. It depends, but if you really do love the person, you really do care about the person, you will be together forever. Like, me and Sarah, I do love her. I do care about her. She actually helped me with my life. She she got me out of some shit, you know. And she told me that she found my YouTube channel and shit, and... You know what, if you're watching this right now, don't be... Put down in the comments, it's all lies because it's all true. You know it. You just don't want to find out you're a bitch. So, you know, peace, guys. Hope you guys have a nice day. Hope you guys had a nice full 20 day. Hope you guys smoked a lot of weed. Skip school. And all you seniors out there, hope you guys skip school because it was senior skip day. So, I had a three day weekend. I'm a junior, so I can't skip. No, operation, so. Peace, guys. Hope you guys have a nice day. Thanks. Had a nice full 20. And. Summer's coming up. Look forward to that. And it was cool for like three months. Uh, I'll be seeing you next year. So, yeah, subscribe, man. And leave a comment, like, share this shit. And put your first time cheating story down in the comments. And I might just feature you. Bye.